Today we're going to attach the collar. I have the shoulder seams joined, but not the underarm seams, so that the blouse can remain flat and easy to work on. The underside of the collar goes down on the right side of the blouse. Now, which is the wrong side or underside of the collar? You remember that we pressed the seam to the one side in order to keep it from showing. This demonstration collar will show that more clearly. So the side of the collar where the seam shows is the under collar. This demonstration collar also shows these layered edges. That appearance is to be expected because of the way we press the seams of the collar. Now you might find it difficult to uh, keep track of this print collar that was made to go with the dress. So I'll change to a solid color just to help the demonstration. Put the center backs together, matching these little nicks that we put in before we remove the pattern. Then when we have these matched, just lift the upper collar and pin the inner facing and the under collar to the garment. Next, match the notches and pin. And then bring the finished edge of the collar to the point indicated. Your pattern will tell you where that is and you'll find that it's often at the center front as this one is and that's already marked with basting. Hold this in place and then tack it there. For we want it to be held in exactly the right place. Repeat this on the other end because you want both sides of your collar to look exactly alike. We're ready to join the rest of the collar to the neckline. And as you look at it here, it looks as if the collar is much too big for the neckline. But it will fit when we match seam line to seam line. And we'll do that by clipping the seam of the neckline at the neckline down to our stay stitching. You wouldn't dare do this unless you had stay stitched near the seam line. Now I think you can see why we left that shoulder seam open beyond the seam line, for it serves just as another clip. And now the neckline fits the collar. So we'll lift the top of the collar out of the way and match the seam to the inner facing and under collar. Be careful to keep all the edges together. Then we'll stitch from shoulder seam to shoulder seam across the back. And be sure you get the edges right up against the seam guide so that your stitching will be on the seam line. Remove the pins. and then pin the rest of the collar down to the garment. And this time we'll pin the entire collar, including the upper collar. Now 
This section will be stitched down as we stitch on the facing. And here's another place where we need to clip down to the stay stitching line for the neckline to fit. Put the facing on the right side of the front of the blouse with the interfacing side up. Match the notches and pin enough times to keep the edges from slipping. Then up here at the neckline, keep the edges together and you'll notice that we're pinning the facing and the collar and the neck edge together. And that the end of our facing comes to the shoulder seam of our blouse. And it looks as if we have covered up the collar completely. Now you could go on over to the other side and pin the other facing in place. But I'm going on on this side and show you how it goes from start to finish. Since this edge has been clipped up to the seam line, we can now treat it as a straight seam. And to fasten the edge of your facing, start stitching about a fourth of an inch from the edge and back stitch just to the edge of the facing. And then stitch your seam. After I've finished the stitching and shown you something about trimming the seams, I'll exchange this blouse for one that has both the facings attached so that I can finish showing you about attaching the collar in this demonstration. Now before we're ready to turn this, we'll want to get rid of all the bulk in the seam, and we'll do that by layering. We'll trim off the interfacing all the way down to the stitching line. And then trim these other layers off just a little wider. And you'll want to get the interfacing out. I cut it all the way down to the seam line, even when it's up inside of a seam like this. I'll get this other blouse and let you see the other points which have been trimmed. Here at the corner, cut straight across, the neck edge and the rest of the seams have been trimmed and pressed open. Then we turn the facing to the back side.
when you have it turned, press it as you did your collar, rolling the seam slightly to the back side. This leaves only the back edge, which is still open. Clip at this point. Clip up to that last stitch right along the edge of the facing. And this is how we get rid of the bulk. Trim off all the seams about a fourth of an inch. Then trim the interfacing off down to the stitching line. And then all that's left, we'll press up and under. Then turn the upper collar over the seam. Remember, the upper collar is going to roll. So fold your collar to give just a little extra allowance for that roll. And press. Then after you've either machine stitched or put this down by hand, your finished collar will look like this.